Love 15. A lot of people talk about super tennis. Less people talk about Jimmy Connors. And from the look on his face, I'm guessing he knows that. He knows about Super Tennis. And how many people say it's the best tennis game on the Super NES? He knows that. But the thing you have to appreciate about Jimmy Connors is that he doesn't let it get to him. He still goes out there and leaves it all on the clay. Also, he got his own video game, and he picked that picture to put on it. You know there were more. Jimmy Connors had options. Jimmy Connors didn't need them. See, Jimmy Connors is confident that even though he looks like he's looking into the burning eyes of a three-headed fire demon, that his slice speaks for itself. It's Jimmy Connors' pro tennis tour. Jimmy Connors once beat a fire demon in three straight sets. So this game was released in 1992, at a time when, I'm assuming, people knew who Jimmy Connors was. I have no idea. I was eight years old. But what I can tell you is that Jimmy Connors practices his backhand by bitch-slapping porcupines. That's what I can tell you. And yet, despite Jimmy's bloody knuckles with quills sticking out of them, this is, this is a game you're probably not going to expect much from. I mean, one, who tries to take on Super Tennis. Two, and with a picture like that. And three... Actually, actually I, I don't even have a three, because I don't know anything about Jimmy Connors that I can tell you. What I can tell you is that his game's pretty decent, actually. And I can also tell you he once ball boyed his own match against himself, which he won. So it's a no-nonsense kind of tennis game, which is exactly what you'd expect from Jimmy Connors. No power-ups, no laser beams, no unicorns. It's tennis. It's just, it's just tennis. Plain sprites, simple backgrounds, you know, a little snow here and there, mostly because Jimmy Connors has a seasonal residence on the Larson Ice Shelf, and he gets homesick sometimes. Otherwise, the game plays it straight, though. The attraction here is the gameplay, which is actually surprisingly well done for a dull 16-bit tennis game that's otherwise so unremarkable. There are 16 players, Jimmy and 15 made-up players, since no real players would agree to participate. And in light of the whole Guantanamo thing, Jimmy's really been trying to soften his business practices. Ergo, the other 15 players are made up. You can either do an exhibition match or the full tour mode. You can only play as Jimmy in the tour mode, though. He, d he didn't soften all of his business practices. You know, I've read that, you know, some of these, that, oh, there are actually real tournaments in this game. I guess that's sure to that's sure to appeal to tennis fans, but I'm not one of them, so I, I can't confirm that, and I don't care enough to check. All I do know is there's an easy mode that's a lot like Wii Sports, where the computer handles your movements for you. It's kind of like it's kind of like fiber in a way, in that way. It handles your movement for you. All you have to do is hit the ball, which is sure to appeal to casual and less skilled players. I got my ass handed to me either way. Front ways, back ways, didn't matter. Ass was handed to me. Thankfully, I had my fiber. But I guess if there are any problems here, uh, I don't know, aiming your shot's kind of kind of tricky. Like when you're trying to hit the ball to the left or the right. Boy, that's it's very touchy. And a lot of the time, you're just going to hit the ball out of play, which is super frustrating. And I guess the dryness of the presentation, too. That's probably off-putting to a lot of Nintendo fans especially, because there's not much color here. I mean, that literally as well as figuratively, because it's like, you know, it's not a, well, actually it's not a black and white game is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's not very colorful, it's not very creative, especially in terms of the gameplay. But again, I mean, like maybe you're not looking for a wacky arcade sports game, and if so, this one's surprisingly good. It's not perfect, far from it, but, but still, it's way better than I expected it to be. I guess that's the, that's the Jimmy Connors effect, which is a real thing, studied by astrophysicists. I made most of this up. It's Jimmy Connors' pro tennis tour for the Super NES. Jimmy Connors doesn't like liars. Game player one. 